Oh, please just don't look at my hair. It's not my choice, I assure you. I know it's a pretty bold statement saying that any film is perfect. Obviously, it's a subjective term. You might hate this film. And if you do, you definitely need to get a scan for something, but you know what I mean. I believe this is the first video where I haven't been insulting something. Feels kind of weird. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. Let's get into it. Ex Machina is a thriller directed by Alex Garland, best known for his work on 28 Days and 28 Weeks Later. However, Ex Machina isn't a zombie film, so that's one difference, and it isn't garbage, so there's another. Ex Machina is a film outlining the dangers of artificial intelligence, but has much deeper themes, such as the pursuit of rational happiness and asking the question, what does it mean to be human? The title Ex Machina comes from the Latin phrase Deus Ex Machina and translates to From the Machine, which represents the main character, Ava, who is From the Machine, a creation. This doesn't really have anything to do with anything, I just hear a lot of people ask and I thought it was kind of interesting. Anyway, onward. Alex Garland chose to keep the cast small in Ex Machina, with only three named characters being given substantial screen time, as well as fitting with the eerie loneliness and desperation you sense throughout. The small number gives the movie time to dive deeper into the psyche of all of them, giving you an understanding of their actions and motives, in contrast to larger films, where there is only enough time to empathise with one or two of the many characters. I feel like you see a lot of one-dimensional films nowadays, where you're presented with a character who you must side with, so here is the good guy and here is the bad guy kind of thing, but in Ex Machina you can see the narrative from the perspective of any of the three of them. Ava seeks her freedom by using Dom Hall Gleason's character, Caleb, he is seeking knowledge, but is also trying to further understand his own life. Nathan is also seeking knowledge, but is doing so in a different way than Caleb, as he already understands the experiment and knows what he hopes to get out of it. If you've never seen this film, one, why are you watching this video? I said there were spoilers. And two, go and watch it right now because you're really missing out. It has everything. A compelling plot, sympathisable characters, a great twist, a stacked cast, dazzling effects, a happy end. Actually, no. Well, depends who you're rooting for, I guess. The film also won an Academy Award for special effects, so yeah. Doesn't really have any relevance to it being a good film, but the effects are pretty good. Let's talk a bit about the characters. Caleb and Nathan are two characters presented in many ways as polar opposites. Oscar Isaac's Nathan is a genius who at first seems very welcoming to Caleb. However, you can tell that his intentions are never quite pure, solely through his body language, smile and dance moves. Like, you wouldn't trust this, would you? He seems to have become detached from reality after living alone all these years, and you get the feeling that he could snap at any moment. Across from him, Dom Hall Gleason plays Caleb, a lonely tech employee who idolises Nathan, but begins to suspect his true intentions part way through. Both characters are very well developed, and their opposing goals and ideologies give you proper perspective to give an informed decision on who is right and wrong. Ava is the protagonist... Antagonist? Well, it's kind of 50-50. She's the robot. The story follows her through the eyes of Caleb, who only sees her as a machine, but then grows more affectionate to her over the course of the film. In actuality, she doesn't change as a character, but is only perceived differently by the audience as they grow to understand her more. Personally, I find sci-fi thrillers boring and kind of meaningless when there are hundreds of actors and dozens of things going on at the same time. However, this format of having a few actors well developed not only makes it more suspenseful, but makes the meaning of the film all the more poignant. Many films, games, TV shows and other medias have explored the idea of artificial intelligence rising up, such as Blade Runner, Detroit, Humans, iRobot. The list is endless, but I haven't seen any that approach the topic in the same way as Ex Machina. They're either really over-sexualised or just the classic trope of being set in the middle of an apocalypse, both of which really blur the point the film is trying to get across. I really don't know how to finish this video. Good film.